Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Friday, March 25th, 2016, around 7.31 in the morning, Berwick, Massachusetts. A damp and dreary day today, some rain, showers, and raw, but it's going to be in the 50s. Some news to report. It's Good Friday. A lot of schools are closed. And it's also Independence Day in Greece. And uh, Florida Panthers beat the Boston Bruins by the score of 4 to 1. And the Bruins are just clinging on to the playoff spot right now. They're like one point ahead of Detroit and. Philadelphia and five in a row they have not won a game they need to start winning games hopefully it's not a repeat of last year because if it is Claude Julian's gonna lose his job and the Sweet 16 the Elite 4 out of the 8 teams for the Elite 8 have been set Oregon, Kansas, Oklahoma and Villanova the rest of the field will be for the Elite 8 will be tonight on Kick Catch the Games on CBS and TBS, Greg Gumble and Ernie Johnson will be hosting. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is the last of the top 50 greatest TV game shows of all time. I've now reached the top 10 greatest game shows of all time. And this is going to be a very, very impressive list. Okay, number 10 on this list of the greatest TV game shows of all time. To Tell the tr Truth, a panel game show produced by Goodson Tarman that started in 1956. And they, um, they had, um, what, they had three contestants. One of them was the real whoever and the other two were imposters and there was a celebrity panel had to determine the real who and who and it, it's been on the air on and off for close to 60 years the first hope was, was Bud Kaya and then um, Gary Moore hosted it Joe Gagliola, Robin um, Ward Gordon Elliott and Lynn Swan and Alex Trebek and John O'Hurley, it's been on eight, um, CBS, NBC, and syndica syndication. Number nine on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time, Password slash Password Plus slash Super Password slash Million Dollar Password. Password started in 1961 on CBS, hosted by Alan Ledden. It was two con uh, it was two teams, a celebrity and a contestant had to guess the password by using one word cl cl clues. It was so, so popular that 50% of the daytime audience was watching it on CBS in the mid-60s. That's amazing. It got canceled in September 1967. But in 1968, reruns of the last season of Daytime Password on CBS was syndicated throughout the country. It was one of the first times a game show was we once have a game show were syndicated and it was seen in Boston on WSBK TV 38 Goods and Tarman did this because they thought the series could be revived in syndication but it was actually revived on ABC in 1971 for about four years Alan Lovin was hosting it they eventually went to a format of having all celebrities playing it called Password All Stars towards the end of the run and that killed it but Password returned in 1969 I mean, on NBC as Password Plus. Alan Ludden hosted it for about a year or so until he fell ill. And then Tom Kennedy ho hosted it until it, it ended in 1982. Um, the Password led to a, like a puzzle of a person, th place, or thing. And then in 1984, it was rebranded as Super Password with like... But Convy as a host, and was similar to Password Plus, but after like the $200 puzzle, there was a cash word and that lasted four and a half years on NBC. And there was Million Dollar Password in 2008, 2009 on CBS, 
hosted by Wages Felvin was which like the, the gameplay was similar to like the twenty five thousand dollar pyramid and the bonus round was they had I guess passwords and so many clues to get up to a million dollars. Number eight on this list of the greatest TV game shows of all time, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which has been on the air in the United States since 1999. We just and hosted the ABC version. It was a real big hit. It was the number one primetime show in 2000. That lasted three years on ABC primetime, and then it's been in syndication ever since, with a lot of host merit. Sierra, Cedric the Entertainer, Terry Crews, and Chris Harris, and Harrison, it's, it's real popular, questions up to a million dollars, great question and answers game show. Number seven on this list of the greatest TV game shows of all time, Let's Make a Deal. Let's Make a Deal's been on the air since 1963, the creator and host Monty Hall it was a game of chance where cast con Contestants who dressed whatever they are could determine if they could keep something that was valuable or a zonk. The zonks were real funny. It's let's make a deal that stood the test of time. It's been on the air in various variations on um, NBC, ABC syndication, and now CBS. And Wayne Brady is currently the host of Let's Make a Deal, and it's on. CBS going to its seventh season. Number six on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time. What's my line? What's my line? A panel game show, which produced by Good Talk. Goodson Todman, that was the first big hit television game show in 1950. The original one lasts from 1950 through 1967. The panel included Dorothy Kilgallen, Arlene Francis, and Bernard Shaw. And John T Charles Daly was the moderator, and the panel had a con um, guest. The contestants who were on there with unusual occupations, and it was a mystery guest. It lasted 17 seasons on CBS, and then got canceled. It was revived in 1968. In syndication, it lasted for seven seasons um, with Wally Bruna and Larry Bryant as host. And the last version of Let's Make I mean, What's My Lens? was in 1975 several times to it um revive it did not go by it wasn't so but you could watch reruns of it on bazaar number five on this list of of the greatest television game shows of all time family field family field's been on the years on and off since 1976 richard dawson was the first host of it was the most popular host. He was the kissing bandit kiss all the female contestants. Was on ABC for many years. Was the longest running game show in ABC history. They even have primetime versions of Family Feud with All Star with celebrities from television shows from both ABC, NBC, and CBS participating for charity. And it also had a hit television um, show on syndication. It went off the year 1985, but it was revived in 1988 with Ray Combs as a host in CBS and syndication. It was still a big hit, but it did not re receive the popularity it, it did on ABC. Then Richard Dawson returned as host in 1994 in the last season syndication, but that got cancelled. It was revived once again in 1999 in syndication with Louis Anderson as host. He hosted for three years, and then Richard Kahn hosted for four years, then John O'Hurley for another four years, and Steve Harvey is currently the host, and it's ranked up there as one of the top syndicated shows on television. Number four on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time, Jeopardy. Jeopardy's a, a rapid-fire question and answers game show that started in 1964, hosted by Art Fleming and produced by Merv Griffin. It was on NBC for about 11 years, a highly popular show, and it ended in when they had a syndicated version. It was revived briefly in 1978-79 for NBC, but that was not popular. Then it w was dormatted for about six years into 1984 when Merv Griffith brought it back and 
Alex Trebek hosted and produced it for a couple of years, but he's just a host now. At first, the new Jeopardy was like getting overnight time slots first of cancellation the first year, but they paired it up with another one of Merv Griffin's hits on Wheel of Fortune, and it's been doing game busters ever since. Number three on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time, Wheel of Fortune, which started in 1975 with um, Chuck Lorre as host on NBC and Suzanne Stafford as the co-hostess. It was actually like a puzzles by spinning the wheel and getting prizes if they won. And it was a hit on NBC for many years, but it almost got canceled and Chuck Lorre wanted a raise when it was going to enter the syndicated market, but they refused to. And then Pat Sajak became host, and then Susan Stanford left, and Vanna White became like co-hostess, and they, Pat and Vanna has been together in Wheel of Fortune since the end of 1982. It went into syndication in 1983 and stayed there ever since as a top rated syndicated game show of all time. Number two on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time, Match Game. Match Game started in the 1960s with like Gene Rabin as host. It was a different format. Like it was two contestants and celebrities headed a match questions and answers, like basic ones. It lasted six years on NBC. It was a decent hit, but when it was reformatted in the 70s on CBS, it had two contestants and six celebrities, and they had a match question for the celebrities, and some of them were real funny, and the panel on um, match game included such celebrities as Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Richard Dawson, Fanny, Fanny Flagg, Patty Deutsch, Betty White, and so many others. It got to be one of the most popular TV shows on daytime television in the 70s. And match game continued into the early 80s, and then it was paired with. It was combined with Match Game as hardly what squares our and several attempts to revive Match Game happened in 1990 and 1998 with different hosts, but they could not have the the the, the like the legacy that Gene Rabin had. And number one on this list of the greatest television game shows of all time, The Price Is Right. The Price Is Right started in 1956 by. Goodson Todman production it was hosted by Bill Cullen and had a nine year run in primetime and daytime on NBC and ABC. It was four rounds of price and a certain item, which was okay, but when it was revived in 1972 on CBS, Goodson Todman had it re- restructured again because four, four like rounds of Bidding on a single prize in a fast-paced world in the 1970s probably wouldn't fly, so they kept that that thing with like um, with the bid called one bid, and then the winner would go to play exciting more prices. Bob Barker hosted it for about 35 years on CBS, and it's shattered record for most popular daytime game show of all time and highest rated game show of all time in the daytime. They had other versions on syndication with Dennis James and Tom Kennedy and Doug Davison, which didn't fly. Bob Barker retired in 2007 and Drew Carey's taken over and he's done a great job doing it close to 10 years and he's kept the audience, which was amazing because a lot of people said if when Bob Barker retired, the prices would probably be canceled within a year or two, but everybody loves the prices right, no matter who could host it. If you could have Julie Broughton host it, and, and it would still get ratings, or Angelo, who, who, who loves playing scratch tickets at Mark Basket. And that's about it on that. I will be back f- later with two more video vlogs. One will be about people are talking to former daytime talk show on WBZ Channel 4 in Boston that lasted several years in the 80s and early 90s. And the third and final video plug in that will be about the former tag team in professional wrestling and the fa- Fantastics. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a truly funny guy. Molly wasn't a lot of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth, so, so stunning. She's the best. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet, sudden accent. 
and in the words of D. Patel last week, no pause, don't forget Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus questions, comments, concerns, shout out, plug, send it to me, send in those questions now because it's coming on the 27th. Bye.